Yo, hello everybody, welcome to a new series I'm gonna start. Today I'm gonna play Martha is Dead. I have played, I mean I haven't played, I've seen someone play this game one time and that, the game wasn't really out. I think there was like a demo to this then. I don't know nothing about this game, all I know this this person is dead. And I think that's the sister, that's all I remember. I remember putting it on my wish list that I want this game, so it just came out like a day ago or something like that, so we're gonna start this. Okay, here we go. Okay. Oh, okay. This is the warning. This is the warning. Yeah, and this is game is coming for adult advice. Yeah. So this game has a warning right now. This is the warning. This can be very bad for underage kids. So if you're underage, leave this right now. This have dead game and this game has like self harm and uh, everything. So if you don't like that kind of stuff, like self harm and out of thing. Stuff like that leave and you don't want this if you cannot take stuff like sight if you don't can't take like so far and anything like that leave right now and let's get into this okay hi okay hello Ciao. I'm Julia. Julia Kay. Hi, Julia Kay. I'm glad you are here. Nobody has visited me in ages. Oh. It's been years now. Years? I must tell you my story, but I don't know where to begin. It's fine. There is so much that... I should start from my childhood. Okay. My memories of these times are vague. Oh. I only remember the summer of 1929 when they sent me off to stay with my nanny. Okay. Huh. New chapter. No nanny, again. will you tell me the story of the white lady? Oh, no, little sparrow. Not tonight. A fog is coming, see? Yes. I know that when it's foggy, the lady kills young women. But... Why is she so evil? What? You see, Julia, pain and suffering can make us do evil things, even if we're not actually bad. Just like soldiers have to kill other soldiers. I like the lady I've decided, Nanny. She must be in so much pain. What? The poor dear. She still scares me a little, though. Soon I'll be a young woman, and she could kill me. What? Does she kill those who love her? What? Of course not. That makes me feel better because I love her. But what about Martha? Would she be in danger? Your sister is with your mother, so do not worry. Do you miss them? No. I mean, yes, I miss Martha a little, but I love spending time with you. Now, go to sleep, little sparrow. It's getting late. Okay, Nanny. I'll go to sleep and dream of the lady. Was she beautiful? She was beautiful. Yes. Very much so. Then she'll be beautiful in my dreams. And will I be beautiful just like her? You'll be even more beautiful. Listen, Nanny. Since the lady won't harm me because I love her, and since you're not a young woman, could you tell me her story? Even if it's foggy outside. Please. Oh, please. Then I'll sleep. I promise. Uh, oh, all right. You always get your own way. Okay. I loved Nanny and I loved that story. Every time I heard it, it sounded like a new and more mesmerizing tale. Every night I would ask her you... to tell me about it, even though it scared me. Even now I can remember every single day of that time and how happy I was. How can you like that story? 
According to an ancient legend, the lakes of the area are haunted by the spirit of a Woo! young woman. Look at this! Woo! Who Woo! was killed by the man she loved. Oh. That's sad. She was expecting a lover stroll by the lake, oh, gazing bad. out at the old tree growing on the lake's island. Does someone so turn off that much hope and desire that death, Water. not love, was awaiting her. Hmm. Keep listening. Let's keep listening. In despair, the man confessed he had killed her out of jealousy. <laughs> so oh. he was hanged on the small island, in the middle of the very it's same lake where he had killed the girl. Is this why you t tell your kids before you go to bed? What? They searched everywhere, but the girl's body was never found. Since then, her spirit, known as the White Lady, has been imprisoned in the depths of the lake. Yeah, I'm drinking, she uh, I'm drinking Red Bull, not the sponsored. Loss of the man she loved. Wait, it's really good. When fog arises, hey. the White Lady is known to leave the waters of the lake and roam the woods. I mean, will she come for her long lost love? Will she come today? She come Within now? the fog of dawn, hunters have claimed to hear the wailing of a woman in the distance. Will she come today? Keep listening. Every time the sad memory of the night she perished stirs in her soul, she takes the life of a young woman Why? by slaying such a life in its youth, even just for an instant. The lady feels free from the burden of her pain. Oh, why? What? What happened? Good night, Nanny. That's good ter night, my love. That's terrifying. Why would you t say that to a child? I spent almost three years with the nanny, but when I came home, I oh. quickly forgot how to be happy. Oh. My memories do not return until fifteen years later, in 1944. When I stayed in that house, I enjoyed setting up cameras in the woods by the lake. My father created a device that attached to the cameras. It would make them take pictures at set intervals. I was trying to photograph animals or whatever else was in that damned place. Ooh, new chapter, the lake. Whoa, what a nice camera though. Reel off the film. Reel off the film. Anything? Open the camera. Jesus, that's so loud. Remove the old. Holy, that's actually terrifying. Oh my god. Roll the film. Activate the timer. Oh. Uh oh. Almost ready. Oh. Now to bring the image into focus. How do we do that? There's something floating on the surface of the water. What? If I frame it better, I might be able to see what it is. Can you do it? I mean. What? What? Is that a person? I must help them. What? Uh, do we know? Hey, uh. I was horrified at the idea that someone might have drowned in my lake. The lake was my world. Where I would spend entire days daydreaming. I would lose myself in my thoughts, but that was a rude awakening. So terrible. 
do we? Why do we have to help? Jump scare me for the love of I instantly fuck. noticed that the person was wearing one of my dresses. I oh. was scared. I dragged that lifeless body as best as I could to the shore, trying not to drown myself. Oh. Only when I lifted her in my arms did I realize who she was. It was my sister. Oh, my oh, twin, yeah. a part of me. Dead. Impossible what? to comprehend. But how? I was desperate. I didn't know what to do or to think. I actually don't know how she died, that's the thing. Hey! I have to stay calm. Are you okay? Martha is not dead. Martha is not dead. It's not possible. It's uh, Are you okay? Can we just get mom and dad? It's not true. Mom and dad? There's no need to worry. Oh yeah, before anything else, what's happening in Ukraine? I hope everyone well. Support Ukraine, that's what I'm gonna say. I know thing that's going on in real life with the war and everything. I wish the stuff's not happening right now. I wish Ukraine well. Pray to the god of fucking what. I just wish Ukraine the best of everything right now. I hope everything will go back to normal sooner than fucking ever. And good luck, Ukraine. I I just want to give them the support I can right now. And I hope everything will go back to normal as soon as possible. That's all I want to do right now. Everything will be fine. Yeah. No. Jesus Christ. Martha. February 26th, 1923. Chill! Turn that on. Um. Is everything okay? Are you hurt? What? What are you doing? Go, Eric! Run! Huh? My parents ran towards me. My mother hugged me. She who detested me, was now cuddling me. Her warmth filled me with life, and the pain became bearable. I felt protected. Martha, are you okay? What? She asked me, speaking slowly in order to let me read her lips. She thought I was deaf. She thought I was Martha. Oh. I didn't want the moment to fade, so I meekly nodded my head. I didn't realize I had done something that couldn't be undone. I would have to pretend to be Martha. Forever. You're, you can just tell? You can just tell them? Hey, I'm not Martha. Sign off the cross. How about we just Praying is pointless. It's just a way of soothing your conscience by trying to ease the pain. Yeah. I don't want the pain to ease. What would I be left with then? It's kind of... Did you remember to light the candles in the hall? People will be here soon. Mummy always finds something for everyone to do. Yeah, mummy. Um, um, space. Okay. Oh, so if I press space, I can do something with this. Okay. What's this? What are, what are you? Oh, I can walk around with this? Oh, I didn't know. I mean, hey, that's cool. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. 
This is a lighter? I know this was a lighter. God, that's big. That's a big ass lighter. Holy shit. Hey, Martha. The real. M when you're done, can you come and get the flowers, please? Or send Martha if you like. <sighs> Never a moment's peace. Even at a time like this, she can't sit still for a second. Yeah. Daddy's oboe. We were preparing a really nice duet together. <laughs> On the rare occasions he's at home, that is. Who's that? Daddy, mummy, and my grandparents. Huh. It seems almost impossible that father is a soldier. Yes. Mother would have been more suitable if she wasn't a woman. Is that you, or...? The only way people could tell Martha and me apart was by dressing differently. Even oh. mother couldn't tell us apart. Oh, wow, that was actually so hard. Holy shit. That is... An old painting. Oh. I find it so sad. It communicates a sense of deep solitude to me. There's nobody. I mean... Can we collect for what? There's no reason to use the phone right now. Yeah, it is. That's nice. Light the last candle. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me, please. Okay. I'm gonna help you. Oh! You, um, yeah, hi, hi, hi. Everything always has to be perfect with her. Parla Londra. Trasmettiamo alcuni messaggi speciali. Special message? Non è felice. Joy isn't. È cessata la pioggia. The rain has passed. La mia barba è My pioggia. beard is blonde. Parla Londra. London's cold. Abbiamo trasmesso alcuni messaggi speciali. Where do I go with this? Oh, right here. Okay. That is quite terrifying. Here you go. The bell. What's happening? Who closed the door? Hello? Erich, Erich, wake up. Do you think it's appropriate to sleep here, of all places? What? Hmm? Yes. I must have fallen asleep. What are they talking about? You can't stay here forever. Why don't you go to bed? No, no. I want to stay with my daughter. Your daughter? Your daughter? You have another daughter, you know. The one who's still alive. Remember? What are you talking about, Irena? Julia is dead. Why? What kind of comment is that? How can you? You should be thinking about Martha. Julia harmed Martha. You know that, right? And as if that were not enough, she has now also abandoned her. What? It's the same old story. Everything is always Julia's fault, isn't it? What? Her fault for Martha being deaf and for you being infertile. Do you think it's the right time for this? Julia is dead, Irena. Dead. Someone killed her. Do you realize that? Of course I realize. I get it. Do you think I'm stupid? What? No one understands it better than me. She always brought problems. Only problems. It would have been better if she hadn't been born at all. What? You're crazy. I'm the crazy one? Me? They have done this to get at me, yes. Your death is all my fault. All I could ever do for you was hurt you, Julia. My poor, sweet, crazy girl. What will I do without you? 
What will life be like now? Uh, All the time I didn't spend with you. But now I'm home. Don't. We can go fishing together. We can take pictures of butterflies. No. We can't do anything together anymore. Can we? Nothing. I miss you, Julia. Uh, I miss you. Stop. Stop. What the fuck? Hey! While American bombings continue to devastate the peaceful towns within Stop the El Sabani, oh we have heard some tragic news from the area of La Ramola. La Mo the young daughter of German Army General Erich K. was murdered near her home. What possible reason could there have been behind such a cowardly act? This is what the Carabinieri, who immediately intervened, hoped to find out. Huh. Okay. Mother didn't seem to suffer from the situation. All she cared about was that my death was so painful for Martha. But not having me around anymore must have been a great relief to her. What At the end of the day, it was better for everyone <coughs> that it was me who died. And it was better for me too that people thought that. <coughs> but the guilt began to consume me. That's when I started having horrible nightmares. God, the fucking sounds. The audio. The fucking audio. Stop. Oh my god. No, what? Bro! 
potions a night? Motherfucker! Motherfucker! What is this? Oh my god! What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? I'm sorry, but what the actually fuck was that? No. It was just a dream. Yeah, please. A horrible dream. Yeah, it was just a dream. That horrendous woman and the face of my sister. What's I wish that? all of this was a dream and my sister is just sleeping in her bed. Yeah. Instead, her bed is empty and this is reality. Bro, what was that? That's... Okay, hold on. The f no, what was that? That's... Oh, what the fuck? I'm actually creeped out by that shit. <laughs> you better fucking stop. Mm -mm. This is Martha and me at the festival of the patron saint. <laughs> it was only a few months ago, and now... There is no Martha! Martha's clothes. To me, wearing them will be like having her with me. Mummy will also be happy to see them. Or I could wear my clothes in the other wardrobe. I mean... The elegant dress? No, I'll never hear the end of it from Mother. How about that one? I think this is okay. Should be fine. Cause I am Martha. So. Everything I need is always in my bag. Yeah, gun. Okay, so I got a. Uh, you have open girl's bag. Here you can find object that goes to carry. Okay. Object. Oh, this is the map. I mean, okay, cool, cool. No the key way. to my trinket box. Trinket box? Where's your trinket? box somewhere my dress the one Martha wore when she was yeah we're not gonna talk about that you know I still like to have the books and games from when I was little with me games are you playing like Minecraft oh the key This is not the right key. I must get her key if I want to know what's inside her trinket box. Wait, oh, okay, so here we go then. Here is my diary. Wait, now I'm confused. Okay, it's so your Julia, okay. July 12th, 1944. This is a new diary. We moved here today and I forgot my old one back at home. But that's okay. A new chapter in my life, a new diary. They say they brought us here for our own safety. Daddy, the war, and everything else. Nanny gave us her house and she went to look after the mansion. It's weird being back here after so many years. I remember Nanny telling me the fairy tale of the Lady of the Lake. It's one of the few happy memories I have from when I was little. Ow. Nanny isn't here and that's a shame, but... Martha is here with me. I also get to see Lapo more often, which is wonderful. He's always hanging around here. Mum is thankfully too preoccupied with fixing up the house to worry about me. At least for now. So happy. Yes, I'll be right there. I'm just going upstairs to call Martha down for breakfast. Fine, but I'm not sure we should let her sleep all day. What do you think? What did you say? Yeah, I'm deaf. Okay, okay, I won't wake her up. I'll, I'll just turn on her light. 
So when she wakes up, she'll know when to come down for breakfast. I'm really there. They really think I'm Martha and I can't hear them. I need to be careful not to talk or I will be in serious trouble. Yep. <laughs> Going home. As a child, when I spent those short years with the nanny, this was my room. Can I open this? It's locked. Strange. Why did they lock my room? Huh. Martha's breakfast is ready. We can go. Yes, yes. It's getting late. Yeah. Did you leave the newspaper for Martha? You know how much she likes reading it. Oh. Yes, Irena. It's on the table, can't you see? And that camera? Are you leaving it there? Yes, Irena. Can't you leave it there for a few more days? Do you mind? It was for Yulia. I will take it away soon. I, I promise. Aww. The thought makes me so sad. Seeing it there is as if I don't know how to explain it. All right, all right, all right. But let's go now. We have too much to do. We can't stay here all day talking. But isn't she getting like someone kidnapped them? Like? Mummy is right, though. Martha always read everything. Oh, she did. It's me who will now read the newspaper instead. They'll be out all day. The funeral preparations will take them a long time. The newspaper. Everything is more complex with the war. Over the next few days, I will see little to nothing of them. Camera on the newspaper. to keep camera on the newspaper. Well, let's look at the newspaper. Brutal assassination in San Casciano. Oh. Julia K. A young woman from a respectable family, brutally murdered near her home. Carabinieri investigates. A possible political motive emerges. Martha was not killed by politics or war. She was killed by something much closer and much less clear. I will find out the truth. Now, where's a camera? It's right here. For Julia, to take more and more photos, Dad. And you take it, criminal! I can verify that the camera is still working by taking a photo. I could photograph a sparrow. There are so many of them out here. Okay, I mean, hey, look, yeah, let's take some pictures. Oh, I've taken the picture, now it's straight to the dark room in the cellar to print it. A dark room? What? That's Daddy a... recently became a general in the German army. Oh. He used to take pictures on the front lines, but now he gives me the materials to take photographs instead. Yeah, now so. that Martha is gone, only this camera can fix my ideas and my memories. I mean... I can't allow myself to forget. So it's a bathroom? Um. Pod? 
Archie Bonsi. On the day of St. Alexis, the battle rages in the city tormented by Anglo-American bombing. What the hell? The moment I thought I saw... What the fuck? It must be this whole situation making me see things that don't exist. The situation is currently under control. Florence, July 15, oh 1944. Fuck. General Erich K. As per our prior agreement, we are sending you military encrypted communication material. The device must remain hidden and secret. Hail. Feld Mascheralo, Carl H. Horrifying as shit. Dante's Did I hear a double step? Illustrated by Dore. Always hanging cheery things. Huh. Why is this so terrifying? What the fuck? I liked watching Nanny as she cooked. I always picked up loads of techniques. Cool. Oh. We are so lucky. In these difficult times, pantries are empty and people are going hungry. But with a German general for a father, food is never scarce. Then help them. Now this is... A weapon. Yeah. These could be of use to me. Yeah! Stabby, stabby, you know. Stabby, stabby, someone, you know. Mummy's medicine. Will they do her any good? Will they? That's from... Is that blood? Our wine. Daddy is so proud that of it. That looks like fucking blood. This fabric is not new to me, yet I do not think I've ever seen it in the house. Let me just read this and whisper. Lorenzini haberdashery. Five meters of gray cotton fabric. Huh. Six meters of white linen fabric. Four meters of green satin. Delivered on June 5th, 1944. Damn, a lot of on June. In the event of an issue, contact us on the number 6987. And this red fabric? It's not been mentioned. Could this also be one of mummies, or could the nanny have left it here? It's a lot of rare. Daddy set up his dark room here. He doesn't take photos anymore because of his work, Ooh. but photography is still his true passion. I'm allowed to use the dark room when I want to. I mean, that's kind of cool, though, to have a dark room. Daddy had this device brought here last week. It's old, but it still works. He has always loved everything technological. That's cool. There are three baths when developing photos. The development bath, then the first rinse, and then the fixing bath. I actually don't know how to do the this. The second rinse is done directly in the sink afterwards. Is that money? Oh, no. I actually never done this before. This will be my first time. If I'm uh, if I'm gonna do anything. Let's see what's gonna happen. Huh. FBI agent. To develop the photo. Oh, so if I take any photos, I actually have to use this. I mean, that's actually pretty dope. Okay, so... Yeah. So... Uh, okay.
I can't develop the photo like this. Why? I can't develop the photo like this. I can't develop the photo like this. I can't develop the photo like this. Okay, how do I do it? Let's see here. Um In position, yeah. Oh, I have to do this. Oh, okay, okay. There we go. When it's ready for this removal, then we remove. Okay. That's actually kind of cool, though. When a person will appear to achieve ideal. I mean, how will I do? Space, but press space. Hey, that's cool. Not a bad photograph. It seems that the camera works perfectly. That's cool. Now I can take a self-timed photo for Martha's frame. That's cool. That's actually kind of terrifying and cool at the same time. Putting the album. That's actually terrifying and cool in the same time. What the hell? I'm actually excited by this. What? Oh, right here. Huh. They know they had one. Oh, they want a picture of her. Oh, that's echoing. Camera is set up with the self timer. I'm sitting? You sure it's a good idea? It's someone walking and I'm not the only one please someone was behind me I'm not wrong I know I'm not wrong please it's always a thrill to develop a photo you Please can't tell see me. anything at first, yet something invisible is captured on the black film. I'm a kind of ghost. That invisible breath then returns to reveal the reality of its torn. There are those who say that photography steals the soul or captures no. it. No. That's why they used to photograph the dead. But nowadays, almost no. nobody does it. Even if it's just a delusion, I want to photograph Martha. I want to have a small reflection of who she was with me. But I have to do it secretly, or they'll think I'm crazy. No! Please, no! No!
Yes, this is me. No one was ever able to tell us apart. But mm. I never had the slightest doubt, and nor did Martha. It's strange how what identifies us most deeply is not visible to anyone. I heard. I know what I hear. I know what I hear. I know what I hear. I was obsessively thinking about Martha and what had happened. But suddenly, a thought took control. The memory of that day at the lake was becoming more and more like a dream when, no. after awakening, the image becomes more and more faded. Could it be that the memories were a figment of the mind? I know what I heard. Had I been the one that hurt my sister? I had always envied her and now I had taken her identity. I know. I experienced no. a suffocating pattern of thoughts. <sighs> I decided to go straight to the lake to retrieve the film rolls. They would tell a different story, I was sure. But deep down, I kept hoping they would confirm my fading memory. <sighs> of course the door is locked. The keys aren't hanging on the lock as usual. Then they will be in daddy's study. We live in fear now. Thank you all guys for watching this video. Hope you like it and subscribe, like, and comment. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye.